step back in time to the 1970s and immerse yourself in the world of a classic TV series. This show captures the essence of urban life with its colorful characters and their journey through life's highs and lows. Get ready for a whirlwind of emotions as you experience the laughter, tears, and surprises that unfold throughout. Can you guess which famous Hollywood star steals the show in this beloved production? The series has stood the test of time thanks to its relatable characters and timeless humor. Its universal appeal continues to captivate audiences, making it a beloved gem of entertainment history. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your fondest memory or personal connection to this timeless TV gem? Share your stories and reflections with us in the comments below. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into this beloved show. A fan looks back fondly on a beloved 1974 TV series, considering it a personal favorite. Having initially missed the preceding show until the mid-80s in New Zealand, they express admiration for the colorful characters and well-crafted humor in the narrative. The relationships between the main character, her mother, sister, and the men in their lives are portrayed vividly, leaving a lasting impression. The humor in the show is noted as both witty and well-written, with a recent rediscovery on YouTube bringing back the enjoyment. Despite the absence of officially released box sets, the viewer relishes the timeless relevance of the series, acknowledging its ability to connect with the 70s audience. Even with changing societal norms, certain aspects of the show remain applicable today. The lead actress's presence in the viewer's memory since the 70s is acknowledged, and one character is humorously associated with wealth given the success of another iconic character voiced by the same actress. Another character's portrayal is praised as perfection. Contrary to the stereotype that us sitcoms lack humor, the viewer contends that gems like this show, along with others, stand out as personal all-time favorites, emphasizing that taste remains unchanged over the years. They assert that quality surpasses perfection and dismiss the notion that all American sitcoms lack humor, recognizing the diversity in comedic content globally. In conclusion, the fan expresses delight in maintaining consistent preferences and affirms the enduring appeal of classics like the mentioned show, emphasizing their irreplaceable status in the world of sitcoms. In the 1960s, a talented actress had her start on Broadway, appearing in supporting roles alongside notable names such as Jackie Gleason, Lucille Ball, and others. Later on, she broke new ground in a television series by portraying a Jewish character, marking a significant milestone in the industry. Throughout the show, many scenes took place in a singles bar with a familiar exterior borrowed from a famous spot called Maxwell's Plum. Interestingly, the show didn't try to hide this fact, as the name Maxwell's remained visible on the awning. The character's journey from Broadway to television screens showcased the evolution of her career and the impact of the series in television history. In the making of a popular TV series back in 1974, a lot of interesting things happened behind the scenes. Some familiar faces almost missed out on their roles due to other offers. For instance, one actor, who played a character named Martin Morganstern on another show, nearly missed out on reprising his role because he was offered a different part on another popular show. Eventually, another actor took on the role, making the first actor available for the show in question. There was also a fun addition to the series, a novelty song recorded by a particular actor, who was credited as Carlton, your doorman. The song added a playful touch to the show. In Valerie Harper's autobiography, she talks about the process of casting one of the characters. Several actors were considered for the role, including a few well-known names. Eventually, the role went to someone else because one actor wanted his wife to be cast alongside him, which didn't work out for the producers. Eventually, a different actor secured the role, but unfortunately, he didn't have great chemistry with one of the main characters. This led to his departure from the show, and another actor took on a recurring role. All these casting decisions and behind-the-scenes details had a big impact on the show's dynamics and storyline. From almost losing one actor to the quirky addition of a novelty song and the challenges in casting another character, it's clear that a lot went into bringing this show to life. In the world of television, there are some remarkable moments that stand out for their uniqueness. One such instance involves actors seamlessly transitioning between roles, breaking norms, and setting new standards. Take, for example, a certain show and its spin-off. In both, actors portrayed characters who left an indelible mark. One actor, who won an Emmy for a supporting role in the original show, later took on the lead role in the spin-off. Another actor also made history by achieving a similar feat. Interestingly, while some of the pivotal figures in the spin-off did not share a particular background, others did. 
Overall, these achievements in television history are noteworthy, marking significant milestones and pushing boundaries. It's fascinating to see how actors can pivot between roles, contributing to the richness of the medium. In the early 2000s, a TV movie caused some drama behind the scenes. One actor felt left out and complained about what he thought was unfair treatment. Meanwhile, another actor faced a tough decision when he had to say no to a good role because the producers wouldn't cast his wife, making the casting process more personal. While the characters in the movie lived on a made-up Manhattan street, the actual filming location was different, showing how making a movie isn't always what it seems. These details give us a peek into the complicated decisions and personal relationships that go into making a TV movie. The problems, both work-related and personal, show how everyone involved has to balance different things. The challenges during filming prove how the entertainment industry is full of many decisions to turn a vision into reality. In the end, the TV movie became a story of overcoming difficulties, showing how committed the cast and crew were to making an interesting piece of entertainment. This story, with its surprises, offers a look behind the scenes at the complex situations faced by those who try to create memorable moments on screen. In the realm of television history, unexpected casting choices have often left lasting impressions on audiences. One such instance occurred when a well-known actor declined a role, leading to a surprising twist in the casting of a popular show. Later, a crossover episode featuring a comedian stepping into an unfamiliar role captivated viewers with its blend of humor and drama. This unconventional casting decision not only boosted the episode's popularity, but also set a new ratings record, showcasing the ever-evolving nature of the entertainment industry. Such moments highlight the creativity and boldness of television creators, leaving an enduring legacy on popular culture. In an interview from a 1976 issue of TV Guide, Lorenzo Music mentioned that several actors auditioned for the role of Carlton, including Foster Brooks, who declined. Music and other producers decided to portray Carlton as a drunk since he was going to be a voice-only character, which was the simplest type of voice characterization. James L. Brooks, who produced both this show and the Mary Tyler Moore show, also produced The Simpsons. He selected Rhoda's Julie Kabner for the role of Marge Simpson. Originally, there was another Morgan Stern sister named Debbie. She appeared on an episode of the Mary Tyler Moore show, but did not transition to Rhoda. In the realm of television history, there exists a notable milestone, the emergence of a sitcom featuring a Jewish character in a leading role. This pioneering show not only entertained audiences, but also challenged the norms of traditional sitcoms, paving the way for more diverse representations on screen. The character's absence from the show was smoothly handled, with the storyline ingeniously addressing it by sending the character and her husband on a road trip across the country. However, the subsequent cancellation of another project led to the actor's return to the original show. This unique familial naming nuance added a touch of individuality to the characters which resonated with viewers. It was a significant moment, marking a shift towards more inclusive representation in television. Indeed, this groundbreaking series set the stage for future portrayals of diverse characters in leading roles, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television. In the annals of television history, there was a pivotal decision made by a programming head that later proved to be a misstep. This choice revolved around a significant episode, one that generated buzz and temporarily boosted ratings. However, it ultimately had detrimental effects on the series. The programming head orchestrated an episode centered on a character's wedding, a move that garnered attention but had long-term repercussions. He believed this event erased the character's appeal as an underdog, a quality that had been integral to the show's success. Additionally, the marriage altered the focus of the series, leaving it without a clear direction, as noted by both the programming head and the writers involved. Criticism also arose regarding the choice of actor for the character spouse. It was felt that the actor lacked the comedic presence necessary to complement the character effectively. Interestingly, the director of the spin-off, who had previously appeared in the parent show, didn't mind the connection and later became a lead director for the series. Efforts were also made to spin off another character into an animated show, although this endeavor didn't progress beyond a one-time special presentation, despite winning an Emmy in 1980. In hindsight, this decision marked a turning point for the series, altering its trajectory in unforeseen ways. In the world of TV shows, there's a guy named John Lormer who did something pretty cool. He appeared in the Mary Tyler Moore show and all its spin-offs Rhoda, Phyllis, and Lou Grant. This makes him the only actor to do that, linking all these shows together. John Lormer played different characters in each show, showing how they're all connected. 
Even though he wasn't the main focus, his face popping up now and then made everything feel consistent. It's interesting because usually TV characters and stories do their own thing. But John Lormer's presence ties everything together, giving fans something to talk about. So next time you're watching these shows from the 1970s, keep an eye out for John Lormer. He's like the secret glue holding them all together. In the midst of its storyline, a significant event unfolded, revealing the fate of a crucial character. The spouse of Mary Jo unexpectedly passed away, leaving fans saddened and surprised. This sad occurrence deeply affected the story's flow, reflecting genuine emotions and challenges. It reminded everyone of life's unpredictability, resonating with viewers who have experienced loss. The aftermath of Joe's death was depicted with raw emotion, showing the main character's journey through grief and the struggle to move forward without him. The show explored the complexities of grief, demonstrating its impact not only on the main character, but also on those around them. Friends supported and comforted the grieving character, but despite their efforts, the grieving process was overwhelming. As the story progressed, viewers witnessed the character's resilience and determination inspiring many. The portrayal of loss and its consequences was handled with care and depth, making it one of the series' most memorable storylines. It illustrated the show's ability to address difficult topics with sensitivity and authenticity, deeply connecting with audiences. The repercussions of Joe's death echoed throughout the series, leaving a lasting impression on both characters and viewers. Ultimately, it was a storyline that reminded us of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. This narrative, filled with sadness and hope, remains in the hearts of fans long after the show ended. It showcases the power of storytelling to evoke genuine emotions and provoke contemplation about the human experience.